Percy was working in the coal mines. He was feeling bored and lonely, with only the silly freight cars for company. Cheer up, Percy, said his driver. Sir Topham Hatt has told me that we must be here again tomorrow. We've just got to make the best of a bad situation. I'll try, sir, sighed Percy. Next morning, the freight car started teasing Percy. Percy, Percy, green and small, he's no use to us at all. Around the yards he'll puff and blow, but on the hills he's oh so slow. Be quiet. Then he took the freight cars to the coal hopper to be loaded up. Percy still felt glum as he puffed up to the top of the hill. He parked his freight cars and then set off back down to the mines. Not even the cheerful sight of Bertie the bus could bring a smile to Percy's face. What's the matter, Percy? asked Bertie. Nothing exciting ever happens. That's the matter, sighed Percy. It's just coal, 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 and cars, cars, cars. I'm bored, bored, bored. Excitement is surprising, observed Bertie. You never know when it'll happen. Otherwise, it wouldn't be exciting. Toodle peep. It would be surprising if something surprising happened, muttered Percy. Later, he stopped by the water tower for a drink. Hello, Percy. How are things? asked Toby. Boring. Well, why not have a few fast spins on the turntable? You'll like that, said Toby. I think it'd just make me giddy. Percy's driver interrupted. Stop gossiping, you two. Cheer up, Percy. You'll soon know more about cars than any other engine. That'll be exciting, called Toby. The freight cars were still grumbling, and there was more of them than ever. You're much too small to pull all of us. We want another engine or we'll be struggling up the hill all night. All night, all right, you can puff and blow, but on that hill you're still too slow. <laughs> S -s slow yourself, stuttered Percy. 